Hello friend, this here is a cheap Chinese made ball screw for the CNC machine. It's new but it's got some crunching issues and we're going to try the potentially ill-advised and take the ball nut off, clean out the bearings and see if we can't tune it up. It's not possible to show you this on video but you can feel it by hand catching. There, caught. There's the grease port, I've tried pumping grease into it. Didn't seem to help. That's all how it's stationary. The servo motor spins the nut. This is a kind of unusual design. Normally the shaft itself is the spinning part, but with uh, one so long, this one's 2.4 meters. It's a huge amount of mass to be rotating and the inertia is really quite large. the seal. Taking the nut off isn't too difficult and surprisingly enough I didn't actually lose any of the ball bearings in the process. It wasn't horrendously dirty but evidently not constructed in clean room conditions either. So front seal. Essentially what I'm mainly doing during this tune up is just cleaning really and making sure there's no microscopic grit whatsoever in the track or on any of the balls. After a bath in WD-40, these bearings are going in ethanol Okay, one's gone on the floor. And I get a final shower of brake cleaner. The diverters go in those little holes you see me cleaning up there. And they're not terribly tight fitting. In fact, a lot of the noise from the ball screw probably comes from that. Here's the setup. Use some grease and the first ball is in there. Just by that first diverter there. Okay, here goes. Wish me luck. I'll get a spoonful of balls. In they go. So here's the hard part. This was my first slightly deluded method. I thought by having the screw angled like this, I could just almost sort of pour the balls in as I screwed the nut onto the shaft. That didn't end up working at all. The balls kept going where they shouldn't and not where they should. So this is the method I ended up using, which was just sticking them in place in the nut with grease. And they actually stuck really well, much better than I expected. So let's just hold our breath. And yeah, that's it. For me, that just worked quite well. It really smoothed up the motion. These ball screws still certainly are far from perfect. It actually takes a little while to dial indicate the ball screw perfectly true to the, the bearing block here. So it's nice if you don't need to undo these six bolts. So I just thought I'd show it the very inferior but lazy person's version of what I just did without taking the ball screw nut off is just basically attempting to wash out anything by blasting lots and lots of WD-40 in there and then going ahead and blasting that out with compressed air. If you look closely you can see those diverters, they really aren't very solid in their housing so no wonder when the ball bearings are bashing into them at high speed that they sound a bit like a bag of nails being rattled around
I actually already feel quite a lot better ah, until now. It did feel quite a lot better. There you have it friends, two methods for tuning up the ball screw. I think the first one is a lot more thorough and frankly better, but as a word of caution I'd be very hesitant to take apart an expensive ground ball screw. I'm imagining that how and whether they go back together is dependent on the recirculation method and how much preload they have, and in some instances I think the balls are even ordered in different sizes. Do get in touch and let me know your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.